Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm in China Rand for stem cells. That's right. And what do stem cells do? Help me see. <laughs> yes, you talk on the phone, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You talk on the mobile. You talk on the mobile. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what she's like upstairs in the IV room. Just talk, 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 talk. Well, I am Wilma Clark. This is my beautiful little princess, Dakota. Um, Dakota will be three in April. And she's the one that's here for the treatment. She has septo-optic dysplasia um, and a few other problems, but the main one being that she's blind. So this is why we've made the trip here to, in the hope that it would give her some sight. Now we knew before we came that she had light perception. So we were just hoping for that little bit more. Well, she's on, uh, her pituitary gland is missing. So her body doesn't produce any of the hormones that it should be doing. So she's on a daily injection of growth hormone um, because without it, she, she wouldn't grow. Um, she's on steroids. Her thyroid doesn't work. So she's on the medication for it. She's uh, got diabetes and sebaris, which is uh, salt, not sugar, which is her problem. So she's on the medication for it. Um, she's had one suspected seizure, but until she has another one, they'll not put her on any medication because epilepsy can be another side effect to her septoptic dysplasia. So at the minute, that's about it. But at the minute, that's probably a bit enough for us to try and deal with. <laughs> Her body, again, because of the hormones, her body, everybody's body produces melatonin, which is like a natural hormone that helps you feel tired. Um, her body doesn't produce it. So she gets it every night, nearly almost four mil every night. Um, now it just puts her to sleep. It won't keep her to sleep. So if she wakens up during the night, she's on another dose of chloral hydrate to knock her back out her back to sleep for a little while but sometimes that doesn't work and she can be up for up to 72 hours at a time just fully wired just ready to go doesn't want to sit at pace doesn't want to be quiet that's hard that is really really hard <laughs> you want to go the underwater world but at the minute it's it's sort of under control she will she'll still have her bad days or, or her bad weeks maybe should be up three or four times three during three, the night. Three or four times. But I think we're used to it now. <laughs> yeah, we're used to it, Coda. <laughs> the worst part is getting the line in on her, but we knew that's what it was going to be like before we came here. Her veins are terrible. Just because when she was born, she had that many needles in her for so long. So we knew that was going to be her main problem coming. And we've been right on that. But once, you know, they do eventually get the line in, you take her up upstairs to the IV room and she just entertains everybody that's there because the mouth goes just constantly the whole time. But I think in a way that's good, not just for her, but for the other people that are there too. It sort of relaxes you. I know there's nothing stressful about it, but it just sort of calms everything down and passes the time in really, really quickly. Hey. The oh. This is a new word, puncher from acupuncture. Oh, I'm feeling a bit puncher. Puncher, pu that's all you're getting out of her. Oh, I'm feeling so puncher. Daddy, are you feeling puncher? Like, yes, Cody, we're feeling puncher. <laughs> and then she goes, she says this thing, she loves you, pulling it gets here, right? And she'll go, puncher, puncher, puncher. And you have to do it to her or else she just cracks up. Puncher. Yes, puncher. The Patrick and his wife, Beverly. Well, the first time he went up for his IV, he did, you know, he didn't have a clue what was going on. Like, so he sat on the chair beside us, and he's, he he was very nervous. So his wife's Beverly saying, "Will you sort of 
talk came through this a wee bit. I'm like, right, okay. So there, and she says, so what will they do? So Darren was telling them they'll come over and they, they put in, it's like, uh, the nurse come over and put the syringe stuff in and Beverly looks at us, what's this? So you're talking through, and then she starts telling them, and then you get your stem cells, and then they put the seal line, and then you go to your room, and like, you know, it, it, it sort of broke the mood for everybody, because he's sitting laughing, because she's just filling everybody in on what's going to happen here. And it looks like pee. <laughs> That's what you're telling the stem cells. It looks like pee. That's what she was telling them. The first time they tried to do it, oh, she cried, and whinged and moaned but then the next thing you looked and she's lying there and she's going no Tom no loving it like really really loving it but then she'll go don't want it don't want it and I'm like yeah okay we girl you are completely loving this so even now there's still a bit of a drama where it'll be no don't want massage and then the next thing the eyes are near closing right <laughs> you're like oh yeah okay milk this for everything you can but she's done for me I think for a child her age the massage is the right thing for him. I think putting them through acupuncture is just a wee bit too much. Because I know myself, I wouldn't want it. So if I wasn't going to do it, my I'm there was no way I was letting her do it. No, definitely not. No. But she, like I said, she loves her massage. She talks yeah. away to Tom now and tells Tom all about Man United. And he just agrees with her. I will play so football. He does. Yes. I will play my football. And that's right. Yes, I know. And you were teaching Jack about the football too, weren't you? Yes, hmm? I know. Yes, you know. Everything. 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 Well, she football. I know you love football. Cody, what's your favourite uh, football team? Man United. Man United. And who's your player? Who's your favourite player? Who scores the goals? Who's winning? Who's winning? And who does score? And who does score? She's seeing things that maybe about, well, the furthest that is reckoned about is five feet away. You know, it's, for us, the first thing we noticed, her eyes were very, very flickery, very wobbly, would have just moved independent of each other. Um, and within three to four days of getting the first treatment, we're looking at her and we're going, All right, there's something different here. You know, what is it? And I think the next day we're going, mm, her eyes don't seem to be moving too much. But we didn't want to get her hopes up thinking, okay, right, something's happening here. Because we know you have to allow up to nine months. So, but then uh, the Australian girls that were here happened to say to us, uh, Cody's eyes aren't wobbling anymore. And I was like, oh, what do you mean by that? And she's like, well, I didn't want to say anything, but her eyes used to be very, very wobbly, but they're not wobbly anymore. And I was like, yeah. You know, it's not just us seeing things. And that was the start of it. The My night dad. she was getting her second IV, she was, uh, Darren got her on video, following my finger. It was maybe about two, two and a half feet away from her. And like clearly following it up, down, left, right. And that's just been it. And her dumb I had the hairbrush, which would have been maybe, what, three feet away from her? Straight away, no noise coming from it. Wouldn't have had any idea what it was. And I was trying to get her to, what's this, what's this? Don't know, you tell me what it is. And then she goes, just give me and I'll brush my hair. How, you know what I mean, how does she know? And she's done too many things now. And we're not the only ones that have seen it. There's The doctors have seen it, Wendy's seen it, the other families here have seen it. You know, it's it's not in our heads, and she she wouldn't know any other way than by seeing it. And so by she wouldn't. It. Yep. Than by seeing it. So it wasn't us coming here and thinking, right, straight away, this is going to work. You know, that wasn't in, that wasn't there for us all, and for her, she doesn't understand what the placebo effect is. So I just don't just don't see how it can work for her, other than. She has to be seeing it. She has to be. For for me and her dad, maybe yes, we you know, we could have had our hopes built up that that maybe it could have been in our minds. But for us, I don't think that comes into play because we came here more with the belief that it wasn't gonna work. So but that's always been the way the way we've been with everything. We always 
take it that it's going to be the worst it can possibly be. So when we came here, we thought, right, well, you know, the chances are this isn't going to work for us. 